Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to be planning in my print pressions and this is my third week and this is the peek at last week after the pin. I'm still really enjoying it and playing around with the layout, trying to find something that I really, really like. Uh, so I've done, you know, just some various things in here. And also this week I made a bucket list. I really liked experimenting with the double page spread. That was really, really fun. So, uh, my mom actually surprised me with this earlier this week. So I thought I would try this out. She gave it to me as a late birthday present. So, I did pick out a handful of stickers over here that I kind of wanted to include, but I don't actually think I'm going to include these, but I know I want to use this one somehow. I want to see if these big double boxes work in here, and I might do some florals. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So I guess let's just get started. Hi guys, it's me. Yes, I decided to try something a little bit different and instead of just doing a normal voiceover where I just talk over, I thought I would try and see if I could do it this way where I'm down in the corner talking to you guys while my Playwith Me is playing, kind of like those cool gamer channels. So I actually have my video playing on my iPad just down below this so you'll probably see me look down just so I can keep on track and everything like that so let's get started I'm excited something totally new something totally exciting so let's get to it I grabbed this long box here and I really wanted to see how it was gonna work and I just trimmed off that top piece because it didn't really go with my theme it kind of had those black font accents so I just snipped those right off and saved it over here and it's a totally new sticker on its own now and I'm just gonna pull this page of florals right out of the sticker book that was kind of bothering me because it was like way on the other side of the book and it was just easier and I can always put it in my little DIY sticker book anyway so I just pulled it right out and I'm gonna start cutting these florals in half so not only does cutting your stickers double your stickers it kind of makes it easier and gives you more freedom to put your stickers and make your stickers work for you so I'm just gonna line them up on the side of this box that big is that a double box or is it I mean it's technically a double box but it's like a vertical double box so I'm just gonna line the flowers up against that I'm also trying and to be, I'm also trying to be a little conscious of not cutting or trying not to let the flowers go too far into where my Monday and Thursday boxes are gonna be because I still want lots of writing room and you know when you have like those transparent stickers on you can't write on them so I still want it to be pretty but I still also want it to have lots of room to write and I don't really want it to interfere with any of my actual plans so I'm trying to keep those short and close to the edge of that box and I'm just gonna cut a corner piece and put on the top there sorry I was looking down it's kind of just making sure I'm on track here um, I'm just adding a few little floral accents nothing major now I am actually going to flip through and grab some of these paydays or uh, bill pay stickers I think and I'm going to put them in that sidebar or that big vertical double box that's gonna be like my little landing area all the important stuff are gonna be right over there like work schedule bill pays or bill due and uh, I'm also gonna just like a big reminder section over there for like any things the kids are doing this week any important things that need to be seen right up front first thing when I open my spread they're gonna be right there staring me in the face so so I'm just adding a box on what would be Tuesday with a nice little flower accent just for a reminder um, earlier in the week for some important things now I'm gonna add okay, so I just added that double box to my weekend area or it's not even a double box it's a checklist so instead of my original plan of being just Sunday having a little area and Saturday having a little area, I just made it a weekend area. So it's going to be both days um, represented on that checklist. My Saturday and Sunday are typically not very packed, jam-packed with things or anything like that. It's usually like two or three things are right in there. So I was fine with having just a little checklist. And I'm just going to put that little banner there and some flowers around it. And I'm going to write the weekend just so, like I said, it's my little weekend area. And now I'm gonna take these circle stickers and cut them in half and those are going to be my date stickers date covers and I'm just cutting them in half right down the middle and I did yeah so I got two stickers out of one circle 
and then I'm going to write my days of the week headers on those and you'll kind of see what I'm talking so about. So I'm just going to finish putting those in place and then I'm going to write in my dates of the week and then like I said on that banner I'm just going to write the weekend and that's going to represent Saturday and Sunday. I actually date these off camera just because I always have to like double check my calendar so I will fill in the dates for these at a, I guess later today. So I'm just finishing up the last of that and then I'm trying to remember what else I do. <laughs> it's kind of weird watching yourself back. I'm like, what did I do? What, what comes next? So I think that's actually the end of my video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.